Here. No more interrupting me. Here, open that blind for me, please. Can you pull it up? So, give thanks to spirit. Namaste. Love and light. Feminine. Stop! Welcome back to another reading with me. Starseeds Carol 444. so much more. I see you all love light, abundance, and prosperity. Um, Monty, please, can you pull up that shade so more light can come in? On it. Come on. Wait a second. Now. Wait a second. I'm going to be pulling some romance angels for you all. Monty. I'm not doing it. I know. I want you to go and open the blinds. So let's see. Spirit. Y'all just woke up and I felt like guided to do a reading for you guys. Oh, release your ex. You may feel like somebody wants you to release them. Okay. And for you to just love yourself first. Free yourself. I'm going to take three of them. I'm going to take a picture. Let's see for you to love. I feel like it is time for you guys to release your ex. Love yourself first. Whatever is codependent. Release it. Love yourself first so better can come into your life. Some of you guys, you're holding on to an ex or you're harboring on to something that is not serving you. Alright, children. Some of you guys, you want to cut off an ex that have children or like a baby mom or something like that. Finances and career. But some of you guys, you simply just want to focus on yourself, focus on money. Focus on doing the right thing here for yourself. And you want to focus on new love. I don't know if you want to get back together with an ex or something like that. Like I was saying though. You releasing this ex and choosing to love yourself is opening up the doorways for new love. You loving yourself and focusing on your finances and your career is going to open up this door to new love. I feel like you guys had to release an ex that had children or would not accept your children. Yeah, children was codependent somehow. Or an ex was codependent. I feel like this situation is botchy and I'm um, here unnecessary and messy. Okay? Unnecessary. Like, whatever happened between y'all two was a bit unnecessary. Alright? That's why you had to retreat. And playfulness with this playfulness. I feel like you just been recapturing romance with yourself. Like, loving yourself, of course. Healing your inner child. You know, expressing yourself again. Shining again. Because you shining is what's going to attract you towards your true love. Soulmate. Towards your true love soulmate. Twin flame soulmate. Some of you guys, you definitely codependent on a soulmate. Or a soulmate was codependent on to you. On you, okay? They codependent as in they always wanted you to prove that you love them. Always wanted you to express love. Okay. Engagement, okay, but it came up in reverse. Some of you guys don't want to engage with this this soulmate from the past. It's too heavy. Yeah, you rather just separate and keep an open mind, as in keep your options open. All right, yeah, I have chemistry. You and this person that you separated from. There is a past life connection. That's the chemistry. For some of you guys, which is why you did keep your options open. All right, with this flirt and deception, but you, somebody was lying to someone. You was being lied to. But there was some deception. And with that flirt, this person was still holding on to you, but they was deceiving you about something. They wasn't being truthful or honest. 
Let's see, Spirit. Why is deception here? I'm already... Oh, yeah. Five of Cups. They lied to you about something and they regret it. They regret it. All right? And that's why I feel like for some of you guys, whatever it is that they did that they regret, it's pushing them to move on elsewhere. Like, it pushed them to move forward from you because it was like they're not... Like, you're not going to take them back. And for others of you... I'm seeing it's pushing, like, you guys could already release this ex, and I'm seeing this ex being pushed towards you, um, being guided back towards you here. They're thinking about you. I'm hearing they're listening, watching here. Somebody talks to themselves. Why have conversations with themselves on, like, what they should do. All right, yeah, should they, like, reconnect or move forward here? You could be thinking this as well. Page of Wands. I feel like this person wants to reach out to you. I feel like they're being pushed or guided to come towards you. King, Queen of Wands, every day they wake up feeling more and more connected with you. All right, but there's some jealous eyes. There's some jealous eyes. That five of swords. Someone's jealous of you. Someone's trying to say you're trying to copycat them. You're trying to be like them. He has a lot of gossip. It's a third party lying saying you're trying to be like them. You want to be like them so bad. That's a lie. This person wants to be like you. They they admire you. All right. They admire you and they admire um your person as well. They look up to your person here. They look up to your relationship. Look at this because they see that you and your person um are happy together, successful and happy together. All right, I feel like your person sought you out. They saw you and looked at you as wish fulfillment and as someone who they can, you know, grow a successful relationship with, okay? Provide. This person wants to provide for you. I'm getting get your number. Like, they was looking at you like they have to get your number. You so fine. They could have even left and walk away from a um a old situation for you. That could be the third party that's talking shit. For some of you guys, will be in this third party. Could be close with close to them, though. All right, <clears throat> Knight of Wands, and I feel like this third party was pushing your DM to to be flighty, to leave you alone, to to move on from you. All right, I feel like there was people around your person convincing them to move on from you. That's why you guys are separated now. Y'all at a distance. They want to come towards you. They their dream is to come towards you here, but they feel trapped. Told you they want to come towards you, King of Wands. Knight of Wands, King of Wands. They want to come towards you. Okay? And I feel like they are having conversations with themselves. They could be talking with themselves in the mirror. They act like in a sense of trying to build up some type of confidence to come towards you or to break out of whatever karmic cycle that's tying this person down and blocking them. Alright? That's keep, keeping them tied down and blocking them from being the emperor. Okay? Something's being exposed as well with that Seven of Swords reversed. Okay? It's like they're trying to push themselves to either, like, talk to you or to get themselves out of this stagnant situation. All right. Something was definitely revealed. Some secret was revealed or it's going to be revealed that's going to push your person to come towards you even more. We have the tower and the three of wands reverse. Okay, hold on. Something within your destiny was destroyed. That's what I was hearing. All right, something within your destiny was destroyed by some type of devil energy, Capricorn energy. All right, and that's what's being exposed, that someone tried to destroy something within your destiny, okay, or your person's destiny. And I feel like it's going to be exposed that this, whoever this person is that try to do this, they try to make you sick. All right, they try to manifest sickness on you, and they, and they are reflecting on it with the hermit because what goes around comes around. They the reason why you were sick or your DM was sick. This person was doing this. Making your person sick purposely so y'all won't be together. So your person could keep being codependent on that other energy. I don't know why, but I'm getting codependency. Romantic feelings. I feel like somebody still have feelings for someone. That's why this is happening. So maybe an ex still have feelings for your person or your person still have feelings for you even though y'all separated. Scorpio energy death card. There needs to be a rebirth, a renewal. I feel like your person wants to invest in rebirth, in um, 
transforming things, okay, bringing things back to life. They really want to hear the yeah, other fool. They want a new start. A brand new start, a new beginning. And see spirit what else is I'm still clarifying that one deception so they could still be um deceiving themselves when it comes down to them wanting to be with you or not I feel like yeah look ace of cups here reverse but like that's not like that's wrong and they heart they they don't they really feel the ace of cups in reverse it's wrong they don't feel that way they actually feel like they want a relationship yeah, they got exposed for something. That's why they playing like they don't care about you or they don't like you or they don't love you is because they got caught or exposed for something. Okay? But they still uh, they want to still rebuild this. For some of you guys, what I'm getting is that they already got caught and they still want to come back around and fix things. Alright? You still an option. But there's someone trying to block you out. And they was trying to lie for that person that's trying to block you out here. That jealous, en envious person, they try to lie for them. For some of you guys that could be like family, they try to lie for them. Just so just so more things won't get exposed. I feel like you guys are both running from each other, but y'all really do love each other and want to give the situation a second chance. But you guys are worried about what other people are gonna think or feel. Alright. See, the sun, those two people there. Your person could be rejecting you, though. Or you could be rejecting them. They feel like you're going to reject them. So we have to star. You're part of their destiny. They feel like you're going to reject them based, you know, based on what happened in the past. Based behind all the things that happened in the past. All right, they still all in their head about their past. They still trying to forgive themselves from the past. Amani, I need my phone. I'm um, I need it, please. Yeah, look, they trying to figure out how they can get themselves out of this mental prison so they can come be a happy family with you. I'm getting it with a family that was hating and friends. All right, yeah, they both, family and friend, both wanted to, your, you and your person to block the situation out. It's like they don't want y'all to fall in love and be together. <laughs> Let me see. Money, I need it. <laughs> okay, that's so funny. Give it to me. What? <laughs> Money, I need it now. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, somebody was doing witchcraft, and somebody is trying to block that out from their family. All right, either you or your person could be exposing the fact that someone that so, someone in the family did witchcraft on y'all, which is why y'all separated, and they're trying to block that out. They're trying to say that you're lying. Okay, you come up at the start, they're trying to say you're lying, but you're not lying. You're gifted. You're a psychic medium. All right, and I feel like that is a part of the reason why your person's all in their head. Okay, because they know their family member is lying here, but they may... I, and I feel like your person is not saying much to save you for some reason. Like, they don't want to talk much about it because they don't want you involved much. But somebody is lying. Why is the two of swords? Are they embarrassed? Yeah, look, some type of family situation is dysfunctional right now. Okay? It could be a falling out. This would be falling out. So it could be falling out with money I'm also getting. Somebody is in spiritual jail now, finally. Somebody is finally in spiritual jail, and they got caught up with um in their family. Somebody got caught. Somebody within the family got caught doing black magic here. Because something came back around onto them. Some type of ritual came back around. All right. And and it exposed everything. Yeah, look, the Empress. They did some ritual on you, and that shit came back around. It got exposed that they were doing spell work on you. All right. They got caught doing spell work on you somehow. You and your family. All right. Some of you guys, your person knew this, like I said. And, and well, I don't know if I said it, but I'm getting that your person knew this. And they didn't say anything. 
All right, but they want to come out of conflict with you. They're trying to say they had nothing to do with that. Whatever this family member was doing, even though they, you know, even though they, they know, they feel like, you know, they're telling you they had nothing to do with it. Like, and it's, I don't know. That's what they're saying. They had nothing to do with it. Like, they found out, but they had nothing to do with it. Okay? They want to, you, you are the empress, and we got the emperor. Remember, the emperor came out. So, y'all are counterparts. You guys are destined for each other. If there was two stars, I feel like two stars would have came out. Just like the Emperor and the Empress. You guys are definitely um, at a crossroad right now, I'm hearing. But you guys are, like, not seeing eye to eye. You see, he is looking this way and she's looking straight. So, I feel like for some of you guys, your person, they are, um, they, y'all, they could not be talking to you right now. And you just simply look moving forward here. But they're looking the other direction. Trying to figure out how they're going to walk away out of this crazy family dynamic situation. It's like they want the perfect plan to get out of it. Okay. They can even be fearful of being around their family or a certain family member because they're just so evil. Look, they love you, King of Cups. They think about you. And when they watch you and think about you, they think hard eyes, dreamy eyes, falling in love. All these feelings for you. All right. Yeah, they want a new cycle. They want a new cycle. They want marriage. They want everything new. Justice here. So I feel like with this justice here, I feel like something being right. All right? Something's being done right. They want to do things the right way this time. Maybe be truthful and honest. All right? Tell me more about this justice here. Page of Cups. So I feel like this person is meant to have feelings for you. All right? I don't know why I'm getting it like that. But it's like they're, they're supposed to love you. Y'all are supposed to teach and love each other. Some of you guys, y'all are meant to have a kid together with that page of cups and justice. Something is written in the stars for you too. And there was a queen of swords that was jealous of it. She was jealous of your 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 knight here, your person. Regardless if it's family or not, okay? If it's that person's family or your family, it was jealous. The fact that your person was coming, giving you this love offer. How your person had strong feelings for you and found you as sexy and beautiful. How y'all had a strong spiritual bond here. And someone was trying to make it karmic. They were trying to convince your person that you and them are karmic. Yeah. They're the reason why y'all separated. They're the reason why your person released you or you released them because of this family member. Not they as in your person. This family member was sending a lot of heavy energy, hexes and jinxes to separate y'all. And they're trying to lie and deny it, but I feel like there's some proof in the pudding here. Like, your person knows. Four of Wands. They, your person knows that they was doing this to y'all relationship, to y'all connection, like I said. Your person knows y'all meant to have a baby. Y'all meant to get married. <clears throat> your person knows all of this. All right, like I said, he knows he's intellectual. Something about choices. Your person promises that they're going to make the right choices this time, pertaining to you and them and, the, and y'all connection. Whatever that was blocking y'all, they're not going to allow it to block you guys anymore. All right, they can clearly see what was dimming y'all. All right, yeah, it was a secret high priestess, somebody that was doing black magic, witchcraft, going to spirituality. All right. Queen of Swords, I feel like somebody could have even gotten a reading done on this false high priestess like this family member to see if they are who they say they are. Are they truthful? And they could have found out the truth that this person is really cold and evil. And they always got their sword up, ready to stab someone in the back. They only care about themselves. And that's, I feel like that's facts. Strength card. But the strength card I'm getting, like, this person is strongly like this. But, um, yeah, y'all have a past life connection that somebody purposely stagnated. It's like, it's, yo, somebody did some type of spell work. Oh, my God, and I just said this in another reading. I just, and I, I just did it. I had on this shirt. Not just, like, a few hours ago. That somebody put a hex on you and your person. So it's like, y'all won't look at each other the same way again. Y'all look at each other as ugly, horrible. All right. I mean, two faced it. Like, you'll never trust this person again. All right, because it could have been a lot of family drama going on. But I'm getting that somebody did this so to make sure you and your person never get back together ever again. Like, they wanted to keep you out of the family. All right, or keep your person out of the family. Trust. 
I feel like you need to trust that this is true for some of y'all divine feminine's honeymoon your person y'all being together in the dream state and in the 5d a lot you guys are always together spiritually all right that's because you guys could be low-key calling each other in so y'all can express each other love maybe this person wants to express that they um are sorry like i did say did i say that i don't know but they want to say that they're sorry here all right reconciliation so this person trusts that y'all going to reconcile again? In the, in the beginning, didn't I say that some of you guys feel like an ex need to release you? Alright? I feel like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like um if your ex was giving you like the cold shoulder within a relationship, I feel like you are giving them that cold shoulder now and they are feeling how you you once used to feel about the connection like you know you was wishing for it now they're wishing for it a lot more all right yeah they feel like you could be the one all right they feel like you are true love no this came out again this could be the one Yeah, they want to get to know you again the right way. They want to take their time to get to know you this time, okay? But they don't know how you feel. They they feel like you may look at them differently, all right? You may look at them ugly, I'm hearing. That's that spell work. It's like a, a Grinch energy that was around y'all. Like the Grinch that stole Christmas, this person was just, I'm hearing she was just going around being a Grinch, stealing people happiness. It just goes around stealing people happiness. Whenever someone is happy, they go around and steal it with spell work. All right? They want to marry you this time. Spiritually and physically. They want to marry you. All right, you guys, I got to go. Get a, just get one more. Yeah, look, you deserve love. Continue to keep focus. Your person want me to tell you to continue to focus on yourself. All right, don't worry about too much right now. They do want to make the effort with you. They have not forgot about you. They're just waiting on the perfect time with this worth waiting for. All right, and if they do come to you now, they just rather be friends. or So you guys can help each other get yourself out of this, but... But just give your relationship a chance. They are hoping that the friendship could lead to an, another relationship. All right. And they definitely is for healing and planning on healing this family issue. All right. But I love you all. Namaste.